I'm Kim. I'm Terry. We are two big women on a couch. We are witty, edgy, and unapologetic for the things we think, do, and say. So, Terry, I was reading another article. This one came out of the Village Voice Empire, and mm-hmm. uh, apparently uh, the story is about a man who, uh, it was in Orange County, uh, California. Anyway, this man had an argument with his estranged wife, right? And mm-hmm. afterward, he goes to his own home, he douses himself with gas- gasoline, and he lights himself on fire. Okay, I think that's a, a taken passive aggressive to new heights. It's a different level of passive aggressiveness for sure. I mean, who you know who was he? Who was he trying to? I guess he was trying to hurt himself. I don't know, or I, don't, I can't. I, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, he had this argument with his wife, and then he goes and he and he sets himself on fire. Huh? Well, yeah, that's an interesting way to get back at somebody. Exactly. It's like wow, wow, <laughs> wow. That's you know what I'm saying. Like. Well, at least she doesn't have to deal with uh, deal with his ass anymore. Yeah, well, good thing he didn't set her on fire. Yeah, that's absolutely the case. You wonder what drives people to thinking so crazy, don't you? Well, you know, in fact, there are so many crazy stories like this. I mean, you know, this was this was kind of nuts, uh, but he only hurt himself. I mean, really, this guy only hurt himself. But, you know, today there was like so much in the news. I mean, you know, the kid that beat up his parents and then uh, holds a party, you know. Uh, it gets all his Facebook friends to come to a party after he kills his, his parents. I mean, that was just really crazy. Talk about crazy Unbelievable. People. I can't even fathom what you were thinking about. Or, I mean, how are we so de- desynthetized? I don't even understand how a thought like that would come into anyone's head. It's just, it's just absolutely doesn't doesn't make any kind of sense to me so but anyway sometimes the world seems like it's turned on its head turned upside down so it certainly um, does and and you know what more times than not i would say that but i can but i guess you know there's nothing we could do about it except hope for the best and hope people get the help that they need before they do anything absolutely insane and hope that 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 people who are the victims uh hopefully there'll be less victims you know what i mean hopefully really seriously people can uh get whatever it takes to be aware that something's not right in their relationship or in their whatever it is and, and get the support they need to um, make sure that they are not harmed. Oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And and you wonder what red flags were put up for like, say, for instance, if that if there was any behaviors of that young man that did kill his parents, what was going on um, to make that happen? And also if there was any red flags and even this man who was crazy enough to set himself on fire, you wonder if there was any red flags that were that were flying about that this man seriously needed some intervention and some some mental health help. Yeah, clearly if there were, they were certainly missed. So yeah, sad story, sad story today. Absolutely. I'm Kim. I'm, I'm Terry. Kim. And we are two big women on a couch. We thank you for being here.